Hi, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a C project in MPLAB. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is just go through the project wizard. I go into project and project wizard, and just click on next. Make sure that the device is the 16 f 877 and then move along, right? Then you get a chance to choose which um, tool suite you're we're using. For us, we're using the high-tech universal tool suite to do <coughs> C programming and then click on next. Next thing you have to do is create a new project file. So what I'm do, going to do is I'm going to browse and then create a folder, uh, which I'm going to call lab one, because that's probably the lab you're going to be doing. And and just give the project a name, click save. And you'll see the, the directory come up and click on next. Um, at this point, if you have a file already, you can add it using the screen, but I don't have a file yet, so I'm just going to move on. Um, okay, summary, then let's hit complete. Um, so now the project is set up. The next step is to add whatever source files you'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new file here, and a new window comes up, and I'm just going to create a void main. So I'm just going to go void main, uh, pass it no arguments. And I'm going to save this in the same folder as my project. I'm going to save it as main.c. Be sure to add the extension, the .c, otherwise, um, well, it just doesn't come up, right? So we now have this source file created in the folder. So what I'm going to do now is going to right-click on source files and click on add files, and then add that main to the project tree, and see it comes up under source files. Once that's done, last thing to do is just configure your configuration bits, especially the step is, is needed, especially if you're going to put it on a board. So I'm just going to set it up just like in the last video. So where, where the um, frequency, the oscillator is the XT, and I'm just going to disable everything else, right? OK. Once that's done, I can just hit build in order to make sure everything's set up correctly and build successful. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.